Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Now, we in Tallahassee right now. Everybody know who overpopulates the hood in Tallahassee, right? You know. Who overpopulates? Blacks. The blacks. Oh, yeah. the, the blacks, Hispanics, we overpopulate the hood, the trailer park. We overpopulate anywhere that's inconvenient to live. Right. Where, where you don't want to be at, where the crime is high, where the diseases are being spread, where you get the less assistance from the, um, from the government. You understand? So that's where we live. Agree? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. No. Curse shall not be in the city. So who leave who and get injustice in the courtroom? Why? <laughs> Whenever we go to the courtroom, who is getting unfair treatment? Black. We are. That, that ain't just Tallahassee, that's California. Right. Right? That's New York. Right. That's on Miami. Right. Like, anywhere you go, the Bible says we're going to be cursed in the city. That's so, right. You know, every time one of the um, so-called blacks get killed by the police, they try to isolate it like it's just that city. That's going on throughout the world. Right. Our people are cursed in every city you go in, right? And curse shall not be in the field. This is Moses prophesying this way before we went on the transatlantic slave right. trade. So he said, curse, we're going to be in the field. We were the ones in the field picking cotton, making America rich. Right. Even today, the so-called field is the labor market. Right. We're the ones begging for minimum wage. Right. Y'all understand what minimum wage means? That means that's the lowest they could pay you without getting sued. Right. We're begging for that. The Bible said we're going to be cursed in the field. Now give me that uh, where it says you're going to be lower than, uh, I think it's 43. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 43. Pay no. attention to this right here, because this is why they treat us like we're lower than them. The Bible promised one of the curses of God was we were going to be treated like we were lower than them. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. So he said a stranger, which is not the Israelites, we're going to get above us very high, really? And thou shalt come down very low. And we, the Israelites, we're going to come down very low. How low have we come? We are the people sending on national music videos to my I want to thot. We talk down on our sisters, talk about killing each other. Right. But we ain't talking about doing nothing to stop this oppression. Right. We ain't talking about no solutions to fix our problems. Right. Read it. We read on, on, on 49. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 49. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. What happened to us? We was over there in Jerusalem, minding our business, and God brought a nation against us from far. Read. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle fly it. Wait, 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 hold up. What's the um, symbol of America? Uh, what kind of animal they use to represent America? Eagle. The eagle. Oh, Say it again. Okay. As swift as the eagle fly it. This was way before the transatlantic slave trade. Right. This was way before America was created. God was telling us who was going to oppress us. God gave us all the answers. All we had to do was keep his commandments. But give me Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Bring it up. Because we didn't keep his commandment, God had to punish us. Right. And that's where we at right now. Chapter Read that. Verse 6. Yeah, Hosea 4 and 6. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Bring it up. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Now, you may think because of the Christian church doctrination that they've been teaching us, when God say my people, he's talking about the whole world because he made everybody, right? Give me that in uh, Matthew. Matthew chapter 2 verse 6. You know? And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah are not the least among the princes of Judah. Right. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. So God's people are Israel. God 
God chose Israel above everybody. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Get chapter 7, verse 6. This is why it's important for you to know who you are. So you can stop walking around here calling yourself African American right. and being a foot rug for the other nations. Right. We're going to show you that we are above every white man you ever laid eyes on. Right. Above right. every Chinese man you ever laid eyes on. Right. God right. made us special above all nations. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou are the holy people unto the Lord thy God. Right. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. How special? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's why right. right. everything we get in, we take over. Right. They put us in basketball, we took over. Right. They put us in football, we took over. Right. That just shows you that God gave us better genes than everybody out here. That's when, right. when they stand in the sun too long, what's going to happen to their skin? Yeah. Understand? Give me um, 2 Ezra chapter um, 3 verse 20, um, 23. 5 verse 23. I want to show y'all just what, what God did. God chose us above every nation. It, that's hard to believe because you've been taught your whole life. God loves everybody the same. Read it. Second Ezra, chapter 5, verse 23. And said, O Lord, that there is rule of every wood of the earth and of all the trees thereof. So he said, God, that bear rule over every tree, read. Thou hast chosen thee one only vine. So he said, out of all the trees you made on this earth, you chose one vine, read. Right. And of all lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen thee one and of all the flowers thereof, one lily. So understand, God is telling you, out of all the stuff he made, he always had one special thing, right? right. And of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee one river. Right. And of all building cities, thou hast hallowed Zion. Hallow who? Zion. That's you and your ancestors. Don't understand? God right. told us to be above all nations. Now, after knowing that, where do we go from here? What do we do? Do we find out we're the greatest and just continue walking around and doing what we want to do? Let's see what the answer is. Yes, sir. Uh, give me um, Acts chapter 3, verse 19. This is the solution. This is how we get out of leading a single parent household. Right. This is how we get out of being killed by the police on the streets. Right. This is how we get out of our, um, us leading in STDs. Right. This is how we get out of going to jail at alarming rates. Read that. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Bring it out. Repent. Do what? Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. So God is telling us we must be converted. What does converted mean? Uh, pretty much like uh, change. Change. That's right. So what must we change? What would convert us? Do you know what would convert us? Uh, pretty much religious where we are blind and... I'm going to show you what to change the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man. So, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. What is perfect? The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. So what converts us? What converts us is the law. The law of right. God. Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect. He said the laws of God is perfect. Right? right. Converting the soul. Remember, God told us we must be converted. Now, the laws of God are what converts us. Right. Now, the question is, do y'all know the laws of God? Read right up. It's pretty much uh, laying on the Ten Commandments. It's more than the Ten Commandments. Right. Is homosexuality in the Ten Commandments? Right. So, do you think God going to have the flamers walking in heaven? No, he's not. Right. That's confusion. Understand that. So, you, you basically can say you don't know the laws of God, correct? So that's what we teach. All right, give me um, 1 John chapter 2, verse 3, so y'all can know this is how you know if you got a relationship with God. Then I'm going to start showing y'all some laws, okay? So we can understand there needs to be a change. We can't keep doing our own thing and expecting God to come in and change some stuff because and we're not listening to him. Read that. 1 John chapter 2, verse 3, and hereby we do know that we know him. This is a scripture that'll cut every Christian you know. It say, this is how you know that you know him. Because all the pastors say, oh, God, I got a relationship with God. He know my heart. Then the Bible say, I'll tell you how you know if you know him. Read. If we keep his commandments. Now, most of the Christian churches ain't even teaching the commandments. So let's tell you they don't know God. Read. Right. And he that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. The Bible says, if you say you know God, and you keep it not his commandments, you are a liar. Right. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, 
nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.